Hello everyone, welcome to uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss the NCRT exercise questions from the chapter Methods of Separation in Everyday Life. Okay, so let us start. Okay, also one thing I would like to tell you that I'll be uploading the solutions and the link for the PDF link uh, of the solution will be shared in the description box. You can download it from there. Okay. I will also put it in the comment section for your ease. Now, let us start. Number one, what purpose does hand picking serve in the process of separation? So, when you are separating the impurities using the method of hand picking, which one of this purpose are you serving? So, basically, what we are doing is we are sorting. Okay. Now, the second one, which of the following substances are commonly separated using the churning method? So, churning method, we separate cream from milk all right question number three which factor is usually essential for the filtration so in filtration what we do we use a filter paper we made it in the form of a uh, cone and then what we do is we take a, a beaker in which the mixture is there suppose sand and water mixture or any mixture uh, solid liquid mixture which is in which solid is insoluble in water and then we pour this mixture over this uh, filter paper and what happens is the insoluble mixture the suppose the sand and water the sand the sand remains on the filter paper and the water comes down all right so in this case which feature which factor is essential the pore size of the filter paper so correct answer is three number four state reasons whether the following statements are true or false also correct the false statements so the first one salt can be separated from salt solution by keeping it under the sun that is true if you keep the salt solution under the sun because of the evaporation the water will evaporate and the salt will remain okay so this is true number two hand picking should be used only when quantity of one component is less that is true if there's huge amount of grain or huge amount of impurities hand picking will become very difficult and time taking okay number three a mixture of puffed rice and rice grains can be separated by threshing okay what is threshing students threshing is a method in which grains are separated from their stock Okay, so definitely we are not using threshing for separating puffed rice and rice grains. Okay, so this is false. What will be the correct answer? You can say that um, a mixture of puffed rice and rice grains can be separated by winnowing. We can use the method winnowing. Why winnowing? Because in winnowing what happens we, uh, with the help of air or wind, we separate the lighter particles from the heavier particles. So, over here rice grains are heavier and puffed rice is lighter. So, we can use the me method of winnowing to separate them. Number four, a mixture of mustard oil and lemon water can be separated by decantation. Yes, this you can do because oil layer will be separated from the lemon water. Number five, sieving is used to separate a mixture of rice flour and water. No, because sieving you need solid solid mixture. Here you have a solid liquid mixture. For sieving you require a solid solid mixture. So this you can separate by the process of filtration. So the correct answer is filtration is used to separate a mixture of rice flour and water. Now coming to match the following. So the first one is gram, fl gram flour mixed with black gram. So, gram flour, the particle size is very small compared to black gram and though they both are solid solid mixture. So, we can use the method of sieving. So, the correct answer has to be D. Chalk powder mixed with water. This can be separated using the method of filtration. It can also be separated using the method of decantation but filtration will be more efficient. Okay. So, E. Corn mixed with potatoes. Okay, this can be done with the method of hand picking. A. Iron powder mixed with sawdust. B. That is magnetic separation. Oil mixed with water. This can be done with the help of decantation as oil layer will be separated from the water layer. That is C. Okay, now going to question number 6. 
In what situation would you use decantation instead of filtration to separate solid from liquid? Now, in this case, what I can say is decantation, when do we use? We use when solid particles are heavy and they settle down at the bottom of the container, allowing a clear liquid to be poured off without disturbing the solid sed sediment. For example, separating sand from water. All right. So, I can write it down for you here, number 6. So, when do we use a decantation? Decantation is used. Decantation is used when the solid particles are heavy and they settle down at the bottom of the container. All right, allowing the clear liquid to be poured off without disturbing the solid sediment. Okay, you can give example of uh, separating sand from water. Separation of sand from water. Alright, so this is one example. Now coming to question number 7. Can you relate the pres presence of nasal hair? To any separation process okay do you know why do we have nasal hair nasal hair it acts like a natural filter what does it do it traps the dust pollen and other particles from the air while we breathe the air okay so it is somehow similar process uh, uh, where uh, solid impurities can be removed from liquid impurities all right or fluid impurities so you can relate to it to that process okay detailed answer i will be giving it in the pdf you can download it from there number eight during the covid 19 pandemic all of us wore masks generally what material are they made of what is the role of these masks so masks are generally made up of multiple layers of fabric or materials such as cotton then we have polypropylene or polyester okay their role is to filter out the harmful particles so while we are breathing uh, harmful particles like virus or any other impurities pollutions and dust in the air uh, which we breathe is filtered out okay so this is also similar to the filtration process in which uh, impurities are removed from the uh, liquid okay or from any fluid okay now coming to question number nine question number nine says a mixture containing potatoes salt and sawdust has been given to you outline a stepwise procedure for separating each component from the mixture so first you have potatoes salt and sawdust so potatoes can be hand picked they are big large okay so first you have to step one will be hand picking hand pick the potato sorry potatoes step two 
okay now you have salt and sawdust so what you do is you add water to it if you add water to it what you will get the salt will get dissolved in water and sawdust because it is insoluble in water it will not dissolve in water it will settle down okay so what you need to do is dissolve add some water add water to the mixture you have to filter the mixture to separate the sawdust from the salt solution so the third step is filtration and step four you have to use the method of evaporation so from the step three that is filtration what you're doing you're separating the salt solution from the sawdust okay now the remaining is the salt solution so now that salt solution you have to separate the salt from the water by the process of evaporation all right now that's it now we have a story question and i want all of you to go through the paragraph and solve try to solve this question number 10 on your own all right if you have any problem please put it down in the comment section uh, i'll try to solve it for you also please download the solution from the description box okay and if you need extra questions from this chapter please uh, write the, in the comment section write down extra questions i will make a video on extra questions also thank you take care and bye bye